Pick when I want to pop, I don't got to do anything. I ain't trying to call, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying, I don't got to prove no point, man. They know. In me, not on me, I get serious. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Uka Anonymous underscore. All right. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, things are getting kind of spicy as more twists and turns happen to come out of this young Dolph murder case. Now, suspects are either dropping like flies or disappearing. And aside from Stray Drop being the main suspect in the media, there's a lot of rumors going on behind the scenes and other names allegedly having some sort of involvement. In this case, we have Joshua Taylor, a.k.a. CEO TZ, who wasn't really a suspect per se, but instead was a, quote, person of interest in Dolph's murder case. He recently lost his life like a week ago. Um, some are alleging that he had more to do with Dolph's case than has been confirmed. However, I guess now we will never know unless police reveal some shocking new details. Now, I don't know if y'all would call it karma, but CEO TZ was shot and killed while he was just sitting in a vehicle in Memphis, June 14th, 2023. At first, he wasn't identified until his family confirmed the reports to be true, and the woman who claims to be his aunt posted to her Facebook to share the news. At this time, there has been no suspect charged or in custody yet, and the way it's looking, I doubt there would ever be, you know? But a lot of people are suspecting foul playing TZ's death, Judging from the way everything played out and how he just so happened to be in the car for whatever reason, with no one else around, everything just seemed a little suspect. Now, when I first heard it, I thought it was a little suspect myself, but there's not enough information to go off yet to just say that something isn't adding up. The only thing I can say, though, is I find it funny that everybody that we've been told has some type of involvement seems to be dropping like flops. You know, um, whether it's jail, death, I personally believe that some of these guys are being silenced just so they don't speak on who else got involved in Dolph's murder and those are the guys that may have been orchestrating everything behind the scenes. But that's just me. I say that because too many key members involved in Dolph's murder have ties back to you know who and it don't make any sense. We've seen black youngsters go on rants and throw jabs and not to mention I read that straight drop who is accused of being the main shooter is only expected to do 6 to 12 years or something like that for his involvement, which kind of doesn't make any sense. You know, he's supposed to be the main shooter, he's supposed to be the one that killed him, but only doing 6 to 12 years, something don't kind of, something don't sound right. Alright, but that's another story. Let's speak about CEO TZ's girlfriend and baby mother, kind of dry snitching on PRE and TZ himself. Now, I'm sure she may not have purposely did it, but her rage or anger mixed with emotions may have led her to say a little bit too much on social media. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Now, it all started when Paper Route Empire artist Kenny Money would make an interesting post via Facebook as news circulated about the death of CEO TZ. He would immediately go on Facebook and he said, quote, long live Dolph with the Dolph emoji. Now, CEO TZ's baby mother slash girlfriend would repost it and say, quote, in F Young Dolph in the whole P-R-E. She would then reply to someone who replied to that comment and she said, quote, and Dolph should have never stopped and got cookies. He'll still be alive too. Now they meet again. Now listen to what she said. Now they meet again. See what I'm saying? Now pretty harsh. Um, I'm sure she's definitely just emotional and definitely upset because we know that whenever someone passes away, and if they have any ties to the death of someone famous or known, and, you know, in TZ's case, he was a person of suspicion in which we would never know, you know, how that played out, they're going to get trolled 
you know so her being on social media at a time that she should be grieving isn't going to help in fact it's just going to make it worse because the internet is always going to be the internet and you know people are going to troll you especially when you giving out you know responses and you saying it back that's what they want that's the fuel to their fire you know the best thing in this situation is just to be quiet let it blow over and if you want to vent vent but not respond to anybody on the internet trolling because all they're going to do is keep trolling and the more matter you get the more they feel they got you and they're going to keep going but not to mention her reposting kenny money's post and saying f young Dolph and the whole pre only makes everything that more suspicious as if she knows something that the world don't know and that's his children's mother so i would think that she knows something and that's why she said now they meet again now it don't take you know a smart person to say that two plus two equal four it just is what it is like i said social media for her right now isn't the right thing for her to be doing mentally but you can't tell people how to grieve so it is what it is now if that wasn't enough she will also take to her instagram now to share a few memories of her and tz but then she will also have this to say in her story she says quote at ceo tz i got you for life and it's been this way since we was kids i can't win the internet but you know i'll try my best to my chin up and i'm leading tears for the shower then b words just winning now they ain't won yet black heart emoji now pay attention again them B words just winning now. They ain't won yet. Black heart emoji. So when she posts things like this, it's almost as if she knows something and she says the B words just winning now, as if she knows who did what and it's looking like she's pointing blame at P R E. And just think that if we could conclude that from the post that she made and she's putting up, what you think the police could do? Matter of fact, what you think they're doing? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I hope she just be more wise because even when you think they aren't watching, they definitely are when you least expect it. And that's usually how it goes. And honestly, right now, she's just making herself more of a target because some people live by the code of trying to damage the whole family. And the way she's talking, she's online making dry threats. That don't help the situation neither. You know, the kids already lost one parent and it wouldn't be fair to them to lose another when it could be prevented you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm trying to say man as for this whole situation with the back and forth i personally think that it's people behind the scenes that really got a lot more involvement in this case than we know um and like i said a lot of people are being silenced i still don't understand how straight drop is being accused as being the main shooter but they only got him down for being for having like what for doing six to twelve years and he also have prior arrests he also had prior conviction like i always say i don't wish jail or death on anybody but certain things just don't add up certain things don't make sense man and um it's very unfortunate what happened to Dolph, especially the way it happened and when you dig deep once again shout out to that page on instagram at young Dolph underscore unsolved they done solved the whole case themselves so if you ever want to see what's going on with that case and not be deterred by the media the mainstream media go to that page and i advise everybody to check the content that they have out there man it's definitely informative and it got a lot more and you see why things are the way they are that's what i'm gonna say um y'all jump in the comments let me know how y'all feel about this man do y'all think that um cotz's wife girlfriend baby mother do y'all think she's dry snitching and saying a little too much on social media or maybe she's just grieving i don't know Y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.